Taiwan State Governor Abu Kafis has faulted the Kutab ruling house for boycotting stakeholders' meetings held in Jalingo between the state's Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs ahead of installation of a first class monarch in Takum. Now, the governor spoke through the State Commissioner for Information and Reorientation. Zainab Usman Jalingo insists that their absence will not affect the ongoing peace building process and backed on by Governor Kafis as demanded by the people of Khartoum. The commissioner said the meeting is meant for a transparent process in which the new chief will emerge, calling on others to support the government's initiative. As you are aware, the chieftaincy issue in Takum has been a matter of concern. Recently, the permanent secretary of Peru for local government and chieftaincy affairs, in collaboration with other stakeholders, extended invitations to the ruling tribes in Takum. These invitations were intended to initiate a transparent and fair process for installation of a new chief in Tagu. Despite our efforts for inclusiveness and transparency, one of the three parties declined the invitation. Their decision was based on concerns over potential threats from their tribal kinsmen should they attend the meeting. While we respect their decision, we want to emphasize that this process is crucial for the benefit of the community and the people of Tagu. The Taraba state government, together with all relevant stakeholders, remain committed to ensuring a fair and transparent chieftaincy selection process in Takum. We urge you to trust in the commitment of the Taraba state government to address chieftaincy situations in Takum. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.